the meandering Newfoundlander with another mental health update. Yay! It seems like that's all I've been doing lately is mental health updates. And I guess there's a reason for that is because my mental health sucks right now and, uh, and there's not much else I can do about it. So I can't get out of the house so I might as well do a video like this. So basically um, I've been going through ketamine treatments the last few weeks, again, inter intravenous this time. But they, uh, they weren't having the positive effects on me that they're supposed to. So because of that, my psychiatrist uh, canceled the remaining, remaining sessions, which is understandable. I mean, it costs money, and uh, why bother if it's not working? I mean, yes, I'd go into the session because the sessions are great. It's just that there's no lingering effects there for me, that's all. So why doesn't the ketamine work when it's so, when it has such a positive, uh, like when you read up on ketamine, it's, there's a high success rate with it. So why wasn't I successful? And I wonder about that a lot. And I, I overanalyze everything. I dig deep inside and question every sentiment, every feeling, every emotion I have, which is bad. I'm an... I'm an overthinker, so this could be right at lunch, what I'm about to suggest. But I'm thinking that the reason my ketamine treatment isn't working as it should is because of my misophonia. Now, misophonia is an aversion to sounds, certain sounds. It's more than an aversion. An aversion is, like, is basically a strong reaction. And it's worse than that. It's uh, like for me, certain sounds, it'd be no different if you came in and put a gun to my head. It would have this, I would have the same reaction, like physiologically anyway. Because you do get that same response, that fight, flight, or freeze response in your gut that you get. And when I hear certain noises, it could be the dog walking across the floor, his nails just going click, 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 click. It could be the backup beep on the truck across the street, it could be the neighbor's dog barking, it could be sitting at the dinner table and hearing people chew food. It could be anything like that, something simple, trivial, just daily activities. And they would send me into that fight, flight or freeze mode and every single muscle in my body would be tensed up. The only emotion I'd be feeling right then at that moment is rage, like pure pure rage, like I could destroy something. And I have to do so much internalizing and mindfulness and count, like, like I do a lot of meditation. So I use every single tool I have in my tools that I have available to me and uh, to make sure that I don't let that out. Because I, I don't want to let that out. I mean, that's the last thing I need to do in the house. And I do tend to let it out sometimes when I'm outside, like kick the barbecue or throw over the patio box or something like that. But, uh, but yeah, once you go through that, that fight, flight, or fright, you're not in the mood to do anything. <clears throat> you're drained. And then when, like say for example, my wife goes for a walk with the dog and the son has gone to get a coffee or something, it's like, oh, I got the house to myself and I'm too drained to do anything because all I want to do then is just recover and recuperate because it's very uh, exhausting feeling, feeling that way all the time because it's constant. I wear headphones throughout the day quite a bit and it's to help drown out background noises. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's, uh, and I'm pretty sure that that's what's causing me to be uh, less successful with the ketamine. At least that's my non-educational guess. Maybe I should go back and try again. <laughs> anyway, I just wanted to give you another update. Probably just because I got, I'm getting antsy with making videos and I need to make a video. So I made one. It's probably not the most exciting one for you. But just another little update. And... Uh, Again, fingers crossed that the next video will be outside somewhere. I hope so. I'm hoping. But I can't control this. And uh, like I need somebody to come and drag me out by the arms and legs, basically, to get me to do anything. 
So anyway, I can keep going on this, so I'll stop now. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys are enjoying a nice sun today, because I'm not.